Good morning, fam, and happy Thursday to you. This is Dr. Tommy Pringle coming to you again with another work week, inspirational and encouraging message for today. On yesterday, we talked about our plan versus God's purpose. And if your plan, um, if it is not aligned with the purpose of your life from God, then it will not stand and sustain. Allow yourself to be the pen that is guided by the hands of God so that you're the writer and God is the inspirer. Today, we're going to focus on purpose and we'll be coming out of the book of First Peter in chapter two, lifting up verse number nine, where it reads, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who calls you out of the darkness into the wonderful light. Before we can understand our purpose, we must know our identity. We, we were chosen by God himself, which makes us special due to divine selection and divine intervention. We were adopted into his holy family. And since he is king of kings, we become royalty. He then appointed us priests due to being saved by the blood of the high priest, Jesus Christ. And as his life was sacrificed, we make sacrifices daily and live sacrificially to carry ourselves in a holy manner because God is holy. And since he is holy, we are holy. We are set apart for every other than every other type of creation from God's special use for his use because we are his property. And our purpose to bring him glory and declare praises to him, not just because of what he did for us, but because of who he is. For we used to be in darkness, but God called us into his marvelous light. So our purpose is not to live for man, but to live for God. Our purpose is not to live for ourselves, but to live for God. Our purpose is not to build up riches down here on earth for ourselves, but our purpose is to build riches in heaven and for the upbuilding of the kingdom of heaven. So when you're writing your story, ask yourself, whether it will bring glory to God in some shape, form, or fashion. Allow that to resonate in your spirit today as the Lord continues to shape and mold you into the Christian leader that he called you to be. I love you with the love of the Lord. Be blessed this week.